Hi everyone, it's Mandy here and today I'm so happy to introduce you to the gorgeous, sunny Cherie Murray. Um, Cherie ha is someone epic to, to have on board today because she's been a yacht chef, um, she still does some freelance cooking for regattas, so like me, still involved in yachting because we can't get away from it um, and both understand how stressful it is, especially in the midst of August in the middle of the season when it's so hot. Um, and Cherie is, while still keeping a finger in yachting, as we all do forever, <laughs> um, <laughs> is also an online business coach. Um, she's got two or three <laughs> online businesses. Um, and um, yeah, she's amazing. Anyway, you should introduce yourself. Say hello. Cherie. Oh, thanks, Amanda. And thank you so, so much for um, asking me to hop on. It's definitely an honor and a privilege. Um, so guys, my name's Cherie Murray. As Amanda said, you know, I've been involved in the yachting industry for about 10 years now and I left the full-time industry last May. So it's been just over a year. <clears throat> um, I do have about three online businesses. My main one is um, online business coaching, you know, mentoring women um, on how to create a secondary income alongside their job because by me doing that, while I was still in yachting, you know, working on my secondary income, my side hustle as such, that has now given me so much more time, freedom and choice. So I'm all about empowering other people to have that, you know, the choice to have Christmas with their family, the time to go to a wedding and all that sort of stuff, you know. So that's my passion is giving that back. And so um, we all understand what it's like. I think everyone watching that is in yachting, and this isn't just for people in yachting. So if you're not in yachting, there's lots of people back to back working in villas. Um, you know, quite a lot of the people I coach are on private jets in villas, in hotels here. But um, you know, this program is sort of aimed at yachting. So did you like? start the um, online marketing and looking for something else to as a bit of a distraction from the stress of yachting or were you looking for a way out or did you just think why not why don't I how did you what was the, the reason for starting yeah I actually just fell into it um, <clears throat> I was wanting to I was really it was about five years ago now and I was just I've always been as a chef, very high strung, very angry, very really? easily agi agitated. I'm not now. I'm not now. So back then, like, I was like a mini Gordon Ramsay. It was bad. Were you? Yeah, 100%. Are you, um, are you hotel trained, like proper chef trained? Yeah, yeah. So working in restaurants and working amongst people that were trained by Marco Pierre White and Gordon Ramsay, and they took that training on to me. So I was trained to, you know, yeah. I was trained to act like a British chef to party or in a British sous chef, basically. <laughs> so it was pretty hardcore. Um, and that, that sort of attitude came into my whole life. You know, I was very high strung, very um, oh, controlling and stuff at work. So that came into my whole life. I, I was always stressed, always cranky, like, you know, just... Anything would tick me off, basically. Um, so about five years ago, um, I just wasn't uncomfortable in my own skin. I was, like, angry. I was tired. Um, I didn't know where I wanted to go. I was five years into the yachting industry, but I knew I didn't want to be in yachting full-time anymore. I knew that wasn't my purpose. I knew it wasn't my mission. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, I started taking some supplements, like, Adaptogens, my God, they have transformed my mind. <laughs> like, cool. So just before you go into that too much, I'd say 70% of the people watching today probably don't actually know what an adaptogen is. So what's an adaptogen? God, I'd have to try to figure out how to explain it. So it's um, my adaptogens I take are a mixture of like ashwagandha, wolfberry, all these natural like herbs. And they just help your body deal with stress. Yes. So for me, and they kind of adapt to how you're feeling. So if you're tired, they can pep you up. Um, 
if you want to go to sleep, they can help you calm down, like if you're a bit anxious. And for me, they help me with my stress levels. Yeah. So I started taking those. And then, you know, this was at back then, this, I was in a network marketing company. So there was a business plan attached to this. But my chefing ego was like, no, Cherie, you're a yacht chef. You've trained for 18 years. Why do you need more money? Why would you need to leave yachting? But, um, you know, there was, I guess, so, you know, I kept using products and then with, they kept telling me about the online opportunity. My ego was like, nah, nah, nah. Why would I want to leave yachting? And then my grandmother died. Um, I couldn't go to the funeral because I was on charter. There was no way I could go to the funeral and say goodbye. And that kind of, you know, killed me inside. Um, I just thought, what sort of choice choices am I getting in life when I can't, when I don't have the time or the freedom to go to a funeral for my grandmother? And then my niece was about to be born. And that was kind of the final nail in a few years worth of the coffin where I was like, I want to have a look at this business opportunity even if it's just going to give me more time to freelance as a chef and give me more time off as having a secondary income, I was like, this is what I want. So about three years ago, I started building my online business in the pockets of my time. Um, it was health and wellness, like something I'm still passionate about, but you know, helping others with their health goals. <clears throat> and then, you know, the more I started to do, and don't get me wrong, I wasn't, Money wasn't just falling from the sky. I was working in my lunch break. I was working before work. On charters, I was working after the guests had eaten dinner. It was all pockets of my time. But the vision of having that, seeing my niece grow up, getting to go home for Christmas was so clear that nothing was going to stop me from building this business. Not even, you know... When, when you start to do something different, of course, there's backlash from friends, there's negativity, there's a lot of, you know, you know, I had a lot of resistance from friends about me doing this, but I just stuck with my vision. I knew what I wanted and I knew what I had to do to get there. So I just, I just kept building. I kept building that secondary stream of income. And then, then about two years ago, I decided I, real, I wanted another stream of income because I really loved teaching people how to cook. So I did create by myself online cooking programs because mm -hmm. I was so passionate about it. I was building, you know, the program, the sales funnel, the email campaign. I loved it. And that, that did give me time away from yachting to kind of switch off. It was kind of there was something more to my life than just cooking for crew and guests. I had more of a purpose and I felt like I had more, I was more clear on my mission. So it definitely working on those two streams of income definitely gave me more of a purpose because I knew there had to be something more than just yachting for me. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So cool. Cause, um, yeah, it's like, I, there was actually a post on Palm Yacht Crew saying yesterday, I think, saying something about, you know, has anyone, um, you know, thought of ways to, to keep you busy? So, you know, I found, like Cherie, you know, when I was, um, when I was in yachting, um, when I was in yachting, to, um, there wasn't much. Of an, I don't think the internet was invented. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if we had mobile phones. So what I did, that's how I did my first nutrition degree. As I got like every, because I was like, I'm just watching like so much TV. We were, you know, watching all those box sets of movies. And then I was yep. like comparing myself literally to the Desperate Housewives, which sounds ridiculous. But when you're, you know, really back to back in charter and you spend half the day cleaning, overthinking, and then watching TV, you know, I, I found that I needed to broaden my mind, you know, get into some self-development and get inspired again because I was sort of like, you know, watch clean TV, watch clean TV. And having come from, you know, um, a bit of an academic background, I guess my, 
my brain just needed to go fast and learn more. Um, and so these days, you know, we were kind of joking before saying, wow, it's so cool that these days you can have, like Cherie says, a side hustle, you know, something else to think about, something to start chipping away at, um, whether it's, um, you know, a course, um, a, you know, some online trading, learning about, you know, finance, learning about property investment, learning about um, online business, whatever it is that turns you on, you know, it can actually give you freedom from the mundanity of the job, you know, and, or, you know, obviously more courses in, in, in the chosen field you're in too. But um, while it sounds like, you know, it could be stressful trying to learn something before and during lunch and after, it's also a sense of escapism while you're not filling your mind with junk. You're not just like, you know, binging on Netflix or box sets or, you know, comparing yourself to, you know, getting so ingrained in a TV series that you start comparing yourself to the characters that are just, yeah. so, you know, there's so, there's so much fun you can pack in if you start structuring your day properly. And, um, you, yeah, and so we, we actually were laughing before um, that it's become a serious laugh that we're actually going to do a series for Life After Yachting and talk about this stuff more and share more yeah. about, um, how much fun it is to have something else to keep you busy and how to, you know, I'm all about purpose and, you know, work helping people work out what, what it is that, 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 you know, that is their reason. And for me, when I was in the midst of yachting, when I worked out my purpose, which was to inspire people, I was searching for a job description. I wasn't, I, I didn't realise, I thought it had to be a uni degree, but I yeah. just realised I needed to wake up and feel like amazing and stoked and like that I was like making a difference somehow, somewhere, whether it was on some island, like inspiring the children or making the crew happy or on a crazy race, you know, being like Mother Earth. And so I find that this sort of personal development that you get working like with people like Cherie or the people that, you know, we've met in our personal development journeys, like help, the more you get in touch with your purpose, the more fun you can have with whatever you're doing, no matter how hard yeah. you are. Would you agree? Oh, gosh, yeah. And like the personal development that I started four years ago has been a game changer because as you say, like it does when, when you are so, well, in relations to when I was just so stressed out and busy on the yachts, my wind down time used to be watching Netflix. Yes. It used to be watching something mindless to make my brain switch off. But when I realized my purpose of helping others and I realized I had other passions beyond chefing, it used to light me up. Like I didn't think twice about staying up after chard, after dinner. I didn't think twice about working during my lunch break. It was exciting. Like I was excited to get out of bed and an hour early to do work on my businesses. You know, it's just, I wish personal development had been around, like, well, that I'd been like, it'd been brought to my attention so many years before, but th that's what I'd love to bring to the yachting industry is just, and what you're doing as well, like, just letting people know there's other things out there and per work on yourself in the pockets of your time. Don't work on watching Below Deck or the latest series of whatever it is, <laughs> whatever's on Netflix these days. Work on yourself because it's 100%. You'll never regret it, ever. So what, could you give us a few tips? So let's put yourself back in, you know, the chef or whoever on their yacht, you know, it's mid-August, it's hot, you know, back-to-back -back charters. If they could download, like, one book, um, what oh, I have one motivational, like, thing on Netflix rather than Below Deck or one of those? Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, do, like, one, you know, this is the, this, um, this series is about giving people five minutes the day five minute exercises that could totally transform their day and their season so if they could pick one movie or one book or one five minute a day exercise 
what would you recommend? Oh, so I know the book, the book that changed my life and I just don't talk about it enough is, um, and this can be downloaded in audio, audio books because, you know, I get it. We don't always have time to sit down and read. I'm finding I get through a lot more books if they're just in my headphones, like in the galley, I actually used to have a stereo and I used to have audio books on all the time yeah. with some music, of course, but that's how I'd read my books. So if you're a chef or maybe you're a stewardess, you're allowed one earphone in to clean, um, listen to audio books. And the one I recommend the most, the, get, the thing that has changed my life is how to stop worrying and how to start living by Dale Carnage. Um, <clears throat> Being a chef, I learned to become quite anxious. Like I'm kind of realizing how anxious I can get myself, uh, how anxious I can make myself become sometimes of, you know, worrying what was going to happen, worrying if the steaks were going to be perfect, worrying if the dish was going to be okay. Um, timing, you know, everything I just kind of put on my shoulders and it used to make me super stressed. Um, this book gives you the most simplest steps to deal with stress. And if anything's stressing you out in your life, your work, it gives you really simple steps to deal with those stresses. Like it's just incredible. So I would download that book. You know, I know we don't all have time to read. So audio book, Dale Carnage, how to stop worrying, how to start living. Um, as for a film, I'm a big fan of Tony Robbins and Unleash the Power Within and Date with Destiny has changed my life with all the work I've done at those events. So if you were going to watch something on Netflix, I'd watch I Am Not Your Guru. Like the stuff, it's a drop in the ocean of what goes on at Date with Destiny after just being there. But for people that are new to personal development, I think it's a great introduction to Tony Robbins and to see what he's about and to see how he helps people. And I think maybe it, it would really help inspire others. And that's a quick documentary you can watch. I think it's an hour and a half over a few nights instead of watching, you know, what a 40 minute episode of something else on Netflix. So yeah, I am not your guru by Tony Robbins. And then as for exercising, I'm an exercise fiend. I'm a five day a week person and that did not change even when I was on the boats. I actually used to run my own bowel workouts after work. But on charter, I would say be kind to yourself because I remember how tired I used to be. I remember how drained, shattered I would be at the end of the day. I remember waking up maybe not always feeling the best. So I'd say maybe just five minutes of stretching. Get up early on the bow. It's the best time. No one else is awake. And do some yoga or any sort of stretching. And just, I always find when I'm near the ocean, that's when I'm at my calmest, my head's clear. Yeah, five minutes of stretching in the morning or in the evening worse comes to worse. You know, I don't think you need to be doing anything too outrageous because you'll be running around the yacht doing tender runs, doing provisioning with a thousand shopping bags, um, you know, running around cleaning cabins. I would say just stretch. Be kind to yourself and give yourself five minutes to stretch and do some yoga. And um, I also find um, whether I'm on boats or not, I keep landing with you. Uh, um, is, I, I just love early mornings. You know, if you can get up at 5 30 you know when i was nursing i always chose night shifts but now i get the same feeling like when i get up at five in the morning and go down to the beach so if you're in hotels or if you're feeling you're living in the city and you're feeling overrun by tourists i should um i shouldn't tell people this because everyone might end up on the beach but if yeah. you at like 5 5 30 no one's up you have the whole place to yourself and it's like this might, and I just get off on like being awake when everyone else is sleeping. It's just such a lovely feeling. And I used to do that on the boat. Is, um, if you're going to jump off and go for a swim, make sure you put the ladder down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that happened to me while I was still swimming. Climb up the anchor chain. But, you know, to get up early and have that little bit of peace while everyone else is still asleep. 
is, and, and do that work on the bow, like Sharice said, can be just so beautiful and powerful. So. Yeah, it's the best, like having that time to yourself because the rest of the day you're answering a thousand different questions and giving so much love and so much time to everyone else but yourself. So to have those five, ten minutes on the bow in the mornings, it used to just change how I started my day. It, it used to change the rest of my day, how I started my day. Amazing. And yeah. so one more question that just came to me. So what if your alarm's going off, you've got to be up to cook breakfast at 6, it's 5 o'clock a.m. and your alarm's going off and you didn't get to sleep until midnight and there's a part of you going, oh, I just think I need an extra hour of sleep. I can't be bothered. Is there anything you say to yourself to make yourself get up? just to have that time to set yourself up for the day? Oh. Gosh, if ever I'm feeling like I can't be bothered doing something and I do feel tired, I just remember why I'm doing it. So I would just remember how good you feel after you've had that time to yourself on the bow and after you've had that time to yourself to wake up. Remember, you're just doing it for you. And you've got to put your oxygen mask on first. So save yourself and have your time in the morning. Just rem remember why you're doing it. And just get up as soon as the alarm goes off. It's all about creating a new habit loop. So, you know, I used to, when the alarm got, went off, I used to snooze it 5,000 times. My new habit loop is... I get out of bed as soon as the alarm goes off because I know how good I feel after I've done my morning routine. So just remember how good you feel after you've done your stretching and had that time to yourself on the bow because it's going to set you up for the day. So I just, I just say to myself, get out of bed, <laughs> get out of bed. Yay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, and um, I'll get Cherie to um, put a couple of, um, write down the, bo the book and the movie that she recommended down the bottom and, um, and then you'll also see her tag. So if you want to get in touch with her and ask any questions, you can. Um, and thanks so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you so much for asking me. It was so much fun and I love that we've connected. It's been beautiful. Yeah. And, um, look out for our live show. And we'll probably do some online lives because we're both basically running online businesses to um, fund our posting and sharing habits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, can't wait to do more with you, babe. It's been really awesome. Thanks. Oh, me either. This year is going to be next level, 100%. Yay. All right. Enjoy your day. And Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh.